Today we're going to talk about, oh sorry, this is reading lesson two for May 13th, 2020. You'll need your reading magazine, page 25, a highlighter pencil eraser. Today we're going to talk about, you can get information from the text, even if it's not explicitly stated. Some of the information is handed right to us on a silver platter. Some of it we have to make inferences and figure it out ourselves. Okay, this was talking about homemade jam versus factory made jam. Homemade means made at home. Highlight homemade, put an arrow, just write with your pencil, made at home. The flavor of homemade jam is, I circled it, fruitier. Fruitier. Look, the factory jam. The homemade taste is lost. It's not as fruity. How sad is that? Now, how much does homemade jam cost? It doesn't really tell us here, but it says in the factory made jam, it is faster, it saves on fuel. This helps the company save money. So homemade jam doesn't save money, it must cost what? More or less than factory jam? You got it, more, costs more. So just write a note, costs more. Okay, making homemade jam is fast or slow? It doesn't tell us here, but here it says that the factory is faster. So that means that making homemade jam is slower, right? Slower to make. Homemade jam is made with equipment that people have at a factory. No. Equipment they have at home. Circle large copper pan. People could have a copper pan at home. They can't have all this equipment at home. That belongs in a gigantic factory. And lastly, homemade jam is made in small or large quantities. Well, it says that the factory can produce large quantities. Look how much jam they're making. Homemade jam is made in what? Large or small quantities? You guessed it, small quantities, right? Made in small quantities. You don't have to write all this. Just make notes around here. 